president wasn't lying. Uh, uh, and in fact, I think people who knew that he was telling what everyone knew to be true, uh, or thought was true, I'm sorry, were themselves guilty of perpetrating a falsehood, and I think a very damaging falsehood. I'm not going to find it here. President Clinton in 1998, for example, said Saddam has nuclear weapons, has uh, weapons of mass destruction, has them. And I guarantee you, I think that's his phrase, if we don't do something about it someday, sometime, he will use them. That President Clinton in 1998. In the debate in 2003, Senator Jay Rockefeller, a Democrat from West Virginia, who was the ranking Democrat on the Senate Intelligence Committee, he had more ability than I did to question the CIA. I, frankly, if I asked the CIA a question, they'd say I was politicizing intelligence. He had an oversight role. He said in a speech on the floor of the Senate, President Bush has said we can't wait until the threat from Iraq is imminent, but in fact he said the threat is imminent. This is a, a senior Democrat. The list of, of people who said there are weapons of mass destruction, we have to do something about it, and not just in the U.S. Senate and not just Republicans, Democrats as well, but French intelligence, German intelligence, British intelligence, and by the way, even though I don't want to make too much of yellow cake in Niger, it wasn't the big issue. To me, the big issue was anthrax, frankly. But even on that score, it turns out that what President Bush said is correct. Saddam went to Niger, on a commercial, sent someone on a commercial mission. The only thing Niger can sell is uranium oxide. But the important point, I think, is no one was lying. Uh, I personally feel, and you've picked it up here, I think there were other things to be concerned about with Saddam, and I think a more balanced case might have been a better one, and I think it was a mistake to focus so much on the idea that there are existing stockpiles, because the real danger was longer term. And I'll just conclude this part of it by saying, if you read the report of the Iraq survey group, and unfortunately, it takes a lot of reading. It's, I think, 400 pages. It's big and thick. But that was the definitive investigation of whether or not there were weapons of mass destruction. And that is the source for saying there were no stockpiles of chemical or biological weapons, or at least none that we could find. That same report says there were plans that we found to begin to restart, remember, maybe I shouldn't say remember, some of you may be too young to have known. At the end of the first Gulf War, we found that Saddam had three different pathways underway to get nuclear weapons. He was on the verge of success. He had huge stockpiles of anthrax. We found those. He had huge stockpiles of chemical weapons. There was never any doubt that this man could, had had weapons of mass destruction in the past. And according to this report, he had every plan to begin building them again in the future. So it's a complicated story, but the most important thing is I would say it is a lie to say that President Bush lied, and I think it's a very damaging and unfortunate lie. People told the truth as best we understood it. Uh, the intelligence was faulty. Intelligence is often faulty. The intelligence before the first Gulf War was faulty in the opposite direction.